When Dr. King first came to Cleveland, there was a boycott of seal test milk. I'll never forget as long as I live. And my mother took me there. We need to support. Amen. We are not taking seal test milk. That was my first experience with seeing people who were activists, people who were willing to die for something they believed in. It changed my whole outlook on life. Siltas has agreed to talk with us. It really was his calling to be that voice, to say to people, we can make a difference if we work together. I grew up in a neighborhood initially where a lot of kids didn't get out. I was one of the ones that got out. And I carry the hopes and dreams of all of those people with me every day. I believe that someone has to be a voice for people who have no voice. And because I do have a loud voice, I like to use it. 44% of all the young people I represent live in poverty. 44%. 29% of all the people I represent live in poverty. But education is number one, because I really do believe education is the great equalizer. I think that it is significant that we start early enough in a child's life to give them a fighting chance. Number two, it's just giving people the basic things that everybody wants. Make sure they have a roof over their heads. Make sure that kids aren't hungry, because kids that go to school hungry don't do well. Only about 10% of low-income children are getting summer meals. Where One of the reasons that I'm on the Agriculture Committee is because under agriculture comes food stamps, WIC, child nutrition. People keep saying, why is a girl from Cleveland on agriculture? That's why. Because I can make a difference by making sure that we feed hungry children. You know, violence is an epidemic. I want for young people to help me help them. I want them to tell me, what can we do as elected officials, as adults? What can we do to make their lives better? I don't know the answer. And I also want them to help me with legislation. Because if we don't change where we're going, I don't know that these young people will ever see a different kind of future. I just want to see if I can help them get through it. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Justice is economic justice. Justice is civil justice. Justice is educational justice. If we are silent when we see injustice somewhere, eventually it will come to where we are. Injustice is like a disease and it just spreads. I find myself fighting for the same things he was fighting for 50 years ago. I'd like to focus on three issues that have seen. I think I learned that everybody can serve. I think that really is his legacy, that you have to be involved, that you have to be committed to something bigger than yourself. And also understand that everybody can't do a great thing, but everybody can do little things in a great way. And so we need to let people know that you do your little part, I do my little part, and we can make things better. I'm just a very small piece of this huge, huge puzzle. And I just want to make sure that my piece is in place when the puzzle is done.